Hello and welcome to the GCSE Maths Question of the Week with me, Mr. Martin, where each week I pick out a question from my Diagnostic Questions website that has been specially written for the new GCSE Maths and which is causing students no end of problems. Now, the reason I've picked this question out in particular is it's actually got something that's brand new to GCSE Maths and it's just one word but it's a word that if you don't know what it means you're not going to have much of a chance of getting it right so I thought it'd be a really good one to have a look at. Okay, so this question has been kindly provided by AQA by the way. So shape P is transformed so that exactly one vertex, I'm going to need to highlight that, is invariant. Oh geez, flipping heck. Loads of words bombing around here. So first thing, before we get on to our kind of brand new word, what's that mean? Vertex. Or well, vertex or vertices, if it's plural, is just a posh word for corner. So we're dealing with corners here. So exactly one corner is, and here's the biggie, invariant. What the flipping heck does invariant mean? Well, invariant, brand new to GCSE, I think of it as meaning stays the same. So it does not move. If something's invariant, it stays in the exact same position. It's stubborn. It's refusing to budge. So this question essentially says shape P is transformed so that exactly one corner stays in the same place. All right, so now we know that, let's see if we can actually do it. Now, I'll be honest with you, I've been dreading this video because I can't draw at the best of times, let alone when I'm trying to draw online. But I'll try my very best, but please be, be kind. So which transformation could have been used? Reflection in the line Y equals two. Easiest thing to do there is to just draw each of these and just see what happens. So Y equals two, what's that? Well, that is a horizontal line through two on the Y axis. So I reckon, <laughs> I mean, I say I reckon, I reckon I can draw this. Here we go, this could, anything could happen here. Let's go for a purple. So y equals two is gonna be that line there. I'll tell you what, that's not bad. I might, I might have peaked too soon here though. So let's draw this in red. So a reflection. So every single point is going to be twice as far away as it was before. So I think, excuse me for a little bit of unneatness, but I think you end up with that. So how many points are invariant? How many points have stayed in the same place? Well, that top point here, he hasn't, right? So he was there and now he's down here, so forget him. But look at this point here. That stayed in the exact same place, right? That stayed in the exact same place. So those two points have remained invariant but I want exactly one vertice, so that can't be the answer. But hopefully now you're starting to see what invariance is all about. It's nothing too hard, right? Next one, rota <laughs> this is what I'm dreading. Rotation 180 degrees centered to zero. Right, first things first. Let me get me rubber out, and let's just rub these guys off. Give myself a, half a chance of getting this right. Okay, so now my strong piece of advice here is if you're in an exam or something, get some tracing paper because otherwise you end up making an absolute hash of this. Uh, rotation 180 degrees to zero. Now, get that point right. You could be the world's best rotator, but if you don't know your coordinates, you're gonna end up messing up. Two zero, two on the X, zero on the Y. It's that point there, two zero, okay? Uh, so I'm going to rotate each point 180 degrees. As I say, get some tracing paper, but I reckon I can kind of do it like this. That's four down and one across. One, two, three, four down, one across. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. And this one, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. I think, sorry, I've just put that in the slight wrong place, but I reckon that, oh God, honestly. <laughs> terrible drawing. I reckon it ends up somewhere like that. But crucially, here's the important point. Can you see if the center of rotation is there, if it's outside the shape like that, none of these points are going to remain in the same place. They're all miles away from the original. So in fact, we've got zero points that are invariant there. Okay. Right. Rub that off before anybody looks too hard at that one. Right. This one, I'm not actually too bad at a little bit of enlargement. So let's have a little go at this. So Enlargement, scale factor minus two, center three, two. Again, get this in the right place. Center three, two, that's gonna be there. So it's an enlargement scale factor minus two. So every single point is twice as far away. That's what the scale factor two bit means, but the minus bit is gonna mean it's in the opposite direction. So let's just do a few of these. So this point up here, to get to him, I've gotta go two squares up. 
So I've got to go twice as far, so four squares, and in the opposite direction, so four squares down. One, two, three, four, end up down there. This point over here is one, two, three squares to the left, but I'm gonna to have to go twice as far, but in the opposite direction, so I'm gonna go six squares to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flipping heck, AQA, he's off the screen. Uh, this point up here, I would have to go two to the left and two up, so I'm gonna go four to the right and four down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and he's gonna end up there, something like that. And this point here, and this is the important bit, he's at the center of enlargement, so he's gonna stay exactly where he is. So we end up with a shape that looks a little bit like that. Crucially, that point there, and only that point there, has not moved. So that's one uh, invariant point. And finally, what about this one here? Get the old rubber out, a translation. Now. What does translation mean? Well, translation's a movement, and crucially, it means every point moves by this. Now, that's already a bit of a clue to what's gonna happen here. So zero minus two, what does that mean? Well, that's zero to the right or the left, whichever way you wanna think about it, and two down. So we're not going to the right at all, but we're just going two down. So this point is going two down to there. He's taking a little trip, two down to there. He's taking a little trip, two down to there, and he's taking a little trip, two down to there. Join me points up and you end up with that. Now, wait a minute. Is that point invariant? That point seems to be in the same place, doesn't he? No, no he flipping doesn't because it's a different point. It's this point that's gone two down to there. He's taken a trip down there. This guy who was there has taken a trip down there. So whilst a point from the original shape has ended up in a position where there used to be a point, it's a different point, so it is not invariant. So there are zero points that are invariant there, okay? So I think we've gone through where people would go wrong with this. So uh, y equals two, it's a line of reflection that's on the line, so we end up with two invariant. Rotation two, zero, I think if you got this the other way around and you put zero, two, you're gonna end up with rotating around that point, and maybe you'll end up with one point invariant there, but you've got your coordinate wrong. Enlargement's looking good, translation not looking so good okay so final thing i guess to say is what other wrong answer would you be tempted to add to this this question well i might be tempted to say and i'm not saying whether this is right or wrong but it's more something for you to investigate and um, is there any line of reflection that could have one invariant point can you think of any line of reflection what about something like i don't know uh x equals zero how many uh, invariant points has that got? What about if I take like slap bang in the middle? What about some like x equals two? How many invariant points does that have? More than thinking about wrong answers for this one, just investigate, play around with some transformations, enlargements, reflections, and so on, and just see which one leave you with invariant points. The more practice you get, the better. And if you need any more help with transformations, then if you just follow the link at the bottom of this uh, page, you'll get some videos and all that kind of stuff. And try out the rest of the quiz on diagnostic questions. It will really put you to the ultimate test. And I shall return with a fresh question of the week next week. Take care. Bye for now.